Hello, and welcome back to MotorcycleMamaBlog.com. I am Denise Ditto Satterfield, your packing tips host, also known as Wonder Woman. Today we're going to talk about the GoPro. I purchased a GoPro camera, which I could wear on the top of my helmet, which I previously did a video, and you saw that, I would hope. Um, and uh, today I'm going to report about how that video turned out and my experience with GoPro. So we're going to start at the beginning. I purchased a GoPro at Best Buy. I was very excited. I thought it'd be really fun when we went to the New England States on the motorcycle to take video everywhere that we went. Got the camera. A uh, salesperson told me to get a 64 gigabyte single disc, which I did. And this is actually the 32, but it was a 64. Got that. And uh, from there, they sent me to the desk where the gentleman showed me how to use the camera. I took lots of notes. Yes, there's in my notes. I'm sure you probably can't see them, but that's my notes. Drew pictures, how to turn on, how to do the videos. This is very technical stuff here, as you can see. So I got my instructions. So I took the camera with me first to do a little run before I went on my long trip to make sure I could use it. Went to Orlando to watch one of the grandkids uh, performances and cheerleading, and I videoed the whole thing with the GoPro. It was awesome. I came home, downloaded it, everything was fine, easy peasy. I was ready to go. So then I took my camera on the trip, and when we got up to the New England States, when we started seeing some beautiful scenery, I had the GoPro on, and I started making my videos. Now, my the only problem that I had was just difficulty in remembering which button to push to turn on and which button to turn off, and all that, but I did know from previewing, I have a preview screen, and so I did learn that I could uh, watch to make sure that it was going, and everything went well, and by the time we got to Niagara Falls, I took a, I wanted to take some still photos, which there are settings on here, you can change that too, and when I did, it said something like the disc was full, or no disc, or something, I thought, well, I guess maybe I've filled the whole disc up, and that was the end of that, so I brought it home, Plugged it into my computer, which is the way, here's the little, the little deal. Plugged it in to do like I did when I took it to Orlando to download the film the, that I had taken. And it said that I needed to format the disc. And I was like, what do you mean format the disc? I've already used this, and if I for format the disc, isn't that going to mess up my... My video. I don't. I don't want to do that. So I took it. I took the. Uh, I thought, well, maybe it's my computer. So I took the sand disc over to the uh, CVS where they have a card reader, and I thought well, maybe I just can't read it on my machine. So I took it to CVS, looked at the car two different card readers. They couldn't read the disc. I was like, oh my gosh! Now what am I going to do? So the lady said, well, why don't you take it to a camera company, the camera place down the street? I said, okay, I'll do that. If it can, can't do it, then something's really wrong. So I took it to a camera place. They put the disc in, the little one, the mini one, and the adapter with it. And they couldn't see anything either. And I'm thinking, what do you mean you can't see anything? This is crazy. Where's all my film? So I brought, the, brought it home, and I decided I would call GoPro. So I called GoPro. I said, what's the deal? It says I need to reformat my disc. They said, well... Let's go ahead and do the reformatting. I said, well, will I lose all my stuff? And he said, I don't know, but let's give, give it a try. So I tried to re, uh, I tried to format the disc. Guess what? It wouldn't reformat. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Now what am I going to do? He goes, well, it's not a GoPro problem. It sounds like it's a SanDisk problem. I said, you're kidding me. Now what do I do? He said, call them. So I called SanDisk, and I said, what's the problem? I can't get my video off of my, my disc. This is ridiculous. We went through all these procedures. There was some kind of problem with the file system is different. It needed to be an XFAT or whatever that means. Anyways, to make a long story short, my video is gone. I have no video with my GoPro from my trip to the New England States. It's a good thing I did download the grand the granddaughter and cheer. I wouldn't have that either. Uh, Sandus said that if I return it to them, the disc, it sounds like maybe it's defective. They will replace it free of charge. And so they sent me a form that I have to send in, which I'm going to do. But the big problem is I don't have any video to show you guys. And so I'm feeling really sad about that. But one of the things I did learn that could be the problem, which nobody ever really would focus on, but I believe after talking to a lot of different people that have experience with the GoPro, that what the problem is is that there was too much data on the 
the card for my computer to read it. So what I'm going to do next time, I'm going on another little trip and I'm going to take it, I bought a smaller size, I bought a 32 gigabyte instead of the 64 and I'm going to try it again and instead of filling the whole thing full, I'm going to take my laptop with me and I'm going to download daily and see how that works. And when I do that, if it works, I will certainly let you know because this is really a cool cool little contraption. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. I mean, if I could just slide this thing on here and show you how simple it is to install, you're going to have to run out and get one for yourself, I know. But anyways, um, it didn't work uh, so far, but I'm not giving up. I do not give up. So, and I would get this on and show you how easy it is, but you know what? I can't do it unless I take my helmet off. Oh, brother. Okay, well, that's it for now. I'm not giving up on GoPro. We'll have another video lesson when I get back with my next videos, and I'll let you know how it works. But until then, keep your motor running. Take care. Bye.